Hello everyone, Adam here, Corpulent Geek, and I'm here today to talk to you about Black Panther. Rawr, rawr, it's Black Panther time. We're in the magical 24-hour window just before it comes out, and I'm super excited. Christina and I, over the course of the next day, are going to see it. I am excited because it's going to give us a whole new world to explore. Previously, we had movies that introduced new parts of the MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe, and that was uh, Asgard in the Thor movies, but I was already a little bit familiar with Norse mythology from Dungeons & Dragons. We had a couple worlds set with that. That didn't really float my boat quite as much because it wasn't new new yeah guardians of the galaxy was pretty darn new but i have this thing with movies where there's a certain line of comedy that i'm willing to accept otherwise the danger turns just silly most marvel movies are down here for that line here hold on let me let me switch most Marvel movies are down here, like like somewhere underneath the, the maximum comedy allowed, but still pretty high. Guardians of the Galaxy went just a little bit above it. Thor goes just a little bit, went a little bit more above it. It was, it was still good movies. I still enjoyed them. Then you got movies like Deadpool. And see, that movie just shoots right all the way through, comes looping back around, back right up to the perfect spot. So Deadpool's insane funny, so that one's okay. Well, that's why I wasn't too into the Guardians of the Galaxy universe. But I am excited to learn about Wakanda because I don't know anything about it. So this one from the previews, I could tell it has at least a little bit of comedy because there's those scenes with Agent Bilbo Baggins in them. No, not, not that one. Definitely not that one. Yeah, yeah, that one there. There's at least a little bit of funny haha -ha moments in it, which is good. You need a little bit of that. I'm not for super serious, but it also has a serious side to it because in the when we were introduced to the Black Panther character in Civil War, he seemed very serious. Of course, his father just died. I can understand. I can perfectly understand. This seems like it's a battle for Wakanda, who's going to be able to lead it. And so it seems like much more of a serious movie than an Ant-Man or a Guardians of the Galaxy. Glad for that, because I think that's a good lead-in for the Infinity War. I don't want to go in with silliness going on and then go into Infinity War that's probably going to wreck shop and kill off a couple characters. But anyway. This movie looks visually stunning. The action sequences that have been in the ads have been fantastic to see. I'm all for expanding the MCU as big as it'll go. Have as many little pockets of it, different places to explore. The more things we can explore in the MCU, the more real it'll feel. And yes, I know it's a comic book movie, but there's still a degree of realness involved that gives you that feeling like stuff's about to go down. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm super excited for this movie, and so much so that I'm putting some polls over there, or over there. I still don't have this pointing thing down all the way. It's, I think it's over there. I don't know. Anyway, a little aisle come up. Hopefully, I'm going to drop in some polls uh, asking you questions about Black Panther, what you're excited to see. If you've already seen the movie, don't take those polls. Take polls I'll send out later on after we've given you our instant reaction Hopefully Friday night we'll put out a video, Christina and I, and we'll have different polls because then we'll know what's going on. And no matter what, even if I knew spoilers, I'd want to keep this spoiler free right here. Let me know if I'll cover something in polls that you are looking forward to. Please let me know down below. Please be sure to subscribe and like this video if this is the kind of stuff you're interested in. Now that we're getting in towards the movie season, we'll be doing more and more movie reviews now that Star Trek Discovery is all wrapped up. If you got here to my page without knowing about my love of Star Trek Discovery this past season, there'll be a playlist in the description down below that talks all about it. There's also a playlist down below on how to get free a free trial of CBS All Access and how to sign up for it if you're technologically not all that with it. And so just remember, comment down below, like, subscribe. Do all the things, push all the buttons, check back here tomorrow. Uh, if you've seen Black Panther, if not, wait till after you see it because the next Black Panther video I put up is going to be filled with spoilers, chock full of spoilers. Not this one, though. This one's safe. All right, Adam, Corpion Geek here. See you later.